Hi, welcome to a series of videos filmed on the Gage Museum Model Railway, otherwise known as Gage Junction, upstairs in the old goods shed of Bishop's Lydiard. I wanted to start to move towards doing some YouTube videos to show everyone what we're doing maintenance-wise with the layout during this period of downtime due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And we do have some fairly serious problems that we need to deal with, mainly this baseboard back here. So, we said we were having problems with this back baseboard here, and it mainly resolves around this area, where we had some display boards up above, and unfortunately during some of the hot weather that we had in April and May, uh, one of them unfortunately did come down and strike the outer main line here, right in the middle of the two tracks. Uh, chances of that are, you know, quite... Uh, remote but that's what happened uh, so it means that we're going to need to replace the track uh, along here that's damaged and we're actually going to replace all of the track across this whole baseboard because we have uh, a lot of problems when we're running trains normally with uh, leveling along here there's a lot of very small undulations in the track level which does cause things to uncouple which is a bit embarrassing and <laughs> eventually the train comes all the way around and smashes into it which it's not a particularly good uh, thing to be showing our visitors when we're open, that's for sure. But one of the challenges that that presents is we need to get direct access vertically on the top of this track in the tunnel here. And as you can see, there's a big tunnel there in the way. So what we've done to address that is we've made a cut down here to make this whole section liftable uh, so we can do that, which I'll show you now. So this top square section with the farm on already was liftable, uh, which is a very good feature. And then we just lift the rest of it out like that. shots that we've just shown you can see the problems that we've got with this baseboard with the train coming along and coming up over the, over the hills and things so um, what we're going to do now is take all the track out between just beyond where the camera is there and behind me into the tunnel I'm going to be using our uh, trusty Dremel with a cutting disc and I'm definitely going to be wearing these for health and safety uh, so we're going to try and do a uh, time-lapse film of that happening so uh, yeah, we'll uh, come back to you when all this is gone.
Now you can see, I've uh, ripped up from there all the way as far as here, which is roughly halfway. And uh, as you can see, it's a bit of a messy job, uh, but that's part of the process. A um, bit of history about this bit. Uh, this, layer, this is the original uh, bits of the old layout that was built sort of in the late 90s, early 2000s. And it's one of the last sections of track that we've not replaced uh, recently on the railway. Uh, there's, there's been a lot of track renewals in the last sort of four to five years, and this bit is one of the last pieces to, um, to go. Uh, I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but this is um, sort of polystyrene type foam underlay which used to sit underneath the track and uh, over time it just disintegrates into little bits and the, the base isn't all that great after sort of 15 years of continuous running which is what this layout normally, normally gets. Um, so we're going to take all that out and uh, make sure the baseboards are level because this baseboard was actually moved away from the wall here because uh, we're in an old goods shed on this the other side of this wall there is some old uh, goods doors which used to open like that to allow the, the goods to be brought in uh, to the railway and uh, in about 2006 uh, this had to all move uh, to allow some repair work to be done to the doors uh, and it was all put back sort of quite quickly uh, for the next running season and uh, yeah, here we are in 2020 and uh, it's time to put some new track in and uh, sort out all the problems I was talking about before. Uh, it's almost hard to imagine that less than an hour ago this was an operational section of, of railway and now, uh, yeah, it's not but it will be again soon. So we'll, we'll carry on and uh, come back to you when we finish. So now you join us after all the track removal. Uh, this is a piece which uh, we pulled up and uh, as you can see it uh, has come apart with the ballast still stuck to it. It shows how well it was stuck. Um, so now there's no track on here at all. Uh, it's hard to believe that a few hours ago we had a three uh, main lines operational and now uh, it's all gone. Uh, but we can see the, uh, the extents of the problems that we've had uh, with these baseboards even more now that uh, the track's gone. I've got a levelling thing here and uh, the level of this baseboard changes quite a few times as you move along here, uh, as we suspected was the case. So uh, the next steps in this process will now be to get rid of all of this ballast which is still partially stuck and the underlay and then look at what we can do to strengthen these boards and uh, yeah, hopefully get some new track down as, as soon as possible. So uh, that's pretty much it for this update and uh, hopefully we'll be back rel relatively soon with some more updates about how we get on with the work that we've been doing up here both on this project and other projects around the layout.